we're very concerned, of course, with Ukraine. I mean, this thing is, it's these sanctions, as Ron Paul said, are in effect an act of war because you're stopping people from doing business. Mm -hmm. And they're building the acts of war. And the, if it keeps going in this direction, I'm very concerned about, just as you were pointing out, has been making the news about the, the overt that's become out now because it's on tape of Turkey's false flag attempts to start a war with Syria. Last week, they shot down a Syrian jet over Syrian territory and said they went over into, into Turkish territory. And now it's reported, as you have on your site, that Turkish, well, it was a foreign minister and a defense minister talking about yeah. mm -hmm. a, a false flag attack. Right. It and seems like Turkey is a... It seems like Turkey is the point of the spear now in trying to provoke this war with Syria that NATO and the U.S. and all these globalists have wanted for several years. And why? Look what's going on in Syria with the Prime Minister Erdogan. You know, there are demonstrations virtually every day. The, the Turkish lead is at, a, at an all-time low. Mm -hmm. The hot money that was flowing in with the tape before when stimulus is all flowing out. The economy is going down. Mass demonstrations. When all else fails, they take you to war. Yes. And that's what I fear now. They're taking us to war. And again, when you look at what, what's going on, the anti-Russian sentiments that are building up in this country, we were writing about it as it was happening. It started before the Sochi Olympics. Hey, you know, they're killing all them stray dogs over there. <laughs> Don't drink the water. It's yeah. all yellow. Oh, those homophobes. <laughs> oh, the toothpaste bomb. Don't get on a plane. Go into Sochi. From credible sources, we found out they have Toothpaste bombs. You can't make this crap up. <laughs> a toothpaste bomb? I got a better one. They also then came out with a credible source after that. Shoe bombs. Yeah. yeah how about Tampax missiles? <laughs> well, you know, one of the things that this guy in Turkey said, this is actually a quote when, this, when he was exposed plotting a false flag attack on his own soldiers in his own territory in order to start a war with Syria and blame it on Syria. He said, this incident reveals the level of cyber and electronic threats posed against our country. Why? Because they put it up on YouTube. The ring, this rings of treason behind the, these rings of treason behind this act are enemies of our state and nation. They've already shut down Twitter and they shut down YouTube because that is a cyber threat to them. YouTube, when YouTube is a cyber threat to you, you've got problems in the government, don't you? <laughs> and what you're looking at, David, when you read the, the sickness of this guy's mind, this is going on around the world. And this is very reminiscent of World War I, where you had deranged people, sick people, both in military and in government, that started a totally useless, needless war that slaughtered millions, tens of millions, and destroyed Europe just as it was growing culturally and scientifically, and in so many wonderful ways destroyed it and set the stage for what's going on now. And it's being repeated again. Who in their right mind could listen to that little guy over there in France, Hollande? You wanna see a little geek? You missed him? Go over and watch Cameron. I think he's one of those boys that got caught in those little boys' schools over there with all the scandals going on. Because look at this little loudmouth chicken hawk. One after another. Look at Congress. Look at all the tough talk coming out from all these guys. And not one man or woman among them. It's like Carter. I sent arms. I. What do you mean I? You didn't do anything. You sent somebody else to do your dirty work. Yeah, we so look at these... We look at these executive orders that Obama put out. I mean, they look like the Alien and Sedition Acts of 2014, where he says, you criticize Ukraine that I created, then I'm not going to let you enter the country. You criticize Ukraine that I created, my State Department, Victoria Nuland created. I'm going to take your assets. 
I'm going to take your assets. These are his executive orders. Where does he get that authority? He claims that by the authority that he has invested in him by the Constitution. Well, no, if you violate the Constitution, you no longer have any authority if you violate what you swore an oath to uphold. Oh, it's like Jimmy Carter. God invested it in me. Yeah, God. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. 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 I'm telling you, we have we have psychopaths in charge, but there's closet psychopaths and sociopaths. Again, this is why I'm saying Charles Manson, 2016. <laughs> Put a real psychopath in office. Forget these phonies, you know? Yeah. Psychopaths who want to be. No, really, this is disgusting what's going on. They're leading us to war. The economy, look, talking about Obama, go back to when he dumped in a trillion dollars, basically, of our dough in this phony bailout thing. You remember the shovel-ready jobs? By now, our economy was supposed to be growing at 4.2 percent. Yeah. And where's it coming at? 1.9. Yeah, that's right. Who could get Hang away on. with this stuff? Hang on, Gerald. We're going to be right back with Gerald Salenti right after the break. Stay tuned. We're going to get final words from Gerald as to where he sees things heading. Trends forecast. We'll be right, right, right back. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carting to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. With new and ever-increasing health threats on the rise, there has never been a more crucial time to support your immune system. Supernatural Silver is a revolutionary new silver solution that is clinically shown to be several hundred times more effective than colloidal or ionic silver and is powerful enough to help protect you and your family from deadly viruses, bacterias, and fungus. Supernatural Silver is scientifically supported, highly effective, and perfect for everyday use inside the body as well as out. The science Digest Journal says silver is our mightiest germ fighter. It is virtually non-toxic and is emerging as a wonder of modern science. Supernatural Silver is the number one choice of thousands for improved health and immune system support. Find out how Supernatural Silver can change your life. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code SILVER2014 for 20% off. Give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance with Supernatural Silver. There's no reason to be sick this season with Supernatural Silver's incredible technology. You can give your immune system the support it needs to help fight off colds, flus, and other nasty pathogens that can ruin the holidays for you and those you love. Used internally or topically, Supernatural Silver is a great defense against sore throats, runny noses, sinus or ear infections, and a whole host of other illnesses. Supernatural Silver is extremely safe and a great way to protect yourself and the ones you love. No one knows what the future may bring, so be smart and plan ahead. Have Supernatural Silver in your emergency preparedness arsenal and give someone a gift that's meaningful, a gift that can change lives. Give the gift of good health this year. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code SILVER2013 for 20% off your entire order. That's SupernaturalSilver.com and like us on Facebook. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight filling in for Alex, and I've got Gerald Salenti on the line. We've been talking about what's going to happen economically in the world. I don't want to get one more forecast from Gerald with uh, trendsresearch.com. But before we do, remember earlier in the program, we talked about this article from RT. Brazil is going to ban Monsanto's Roundup. They found that glyphosate 
has been linked to fatal kidney disease in a recent study. So they're going to ban it in Brazil. Guess what? They're not going to ban it here in America because just as we've been talking to Gerald Salenti about, the corporations are in control of our government. They control the FDA. You've got crony capitalism, big agra, the big chemical companies. They're going to keep stuffing that stuff into your water, into your crops. So it's up to you to do something about it. Now, this hour has been brought to you by ProPure Filter. You know, the new Pro One G 2.0 elements are silver impregnated. And they can filter glyphosate. So you're not going to get the government to take it out. You're going to have to take it out yourself. California even allows concentrations of up to 1,000 parts per billion of glyphosate. Go to InfoWarsShop.com, click on the ProPure water system, read the label, and the informational sheet for yourself. It removes pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosicilic acid, and sodium hexafluorosilicate, okay? I got those. <laughs> get the toxins and heavy metals out of your water today and get a 10% discount with Water 10. That's right. Those things that you can't pronounce, those things that I can't pronounce, you don't want to be eating those. That's bad. That's really bad. If it's so long that you can't pronounce it, that I can't pronounce it, don't drink it. Gerald, what do you want to tell us? What do you think things are headed? What, what do you think is going to happen with interest rates? You think they're going to go up uh, before the election or are they going to spike them after the election? What, what's your... Well, they have to go up. They're going to go up. And when interest rates go up, the economy goes down. It's yeah. as simple as that. This, this was an interest rate recovery. You see it already with housing price, with housing sales. The more the 30-year more mortgage goes up, the sales go. It's as simple as that. And it's the same thing with the with the autos and on and on and on. It's the, the low interest rates. When interest rates go up the economy down, period, paragraph. And that's why I believe they're going to come out with another stimulus program. Maybe they'll call it Yellenomics or something <laughs> and then under a new name. And, and the things to watch, again, are what's going on around the world, not only, of course, in Ukraine. It's not making the news. Tens of thousands of Spanish students are out in the streets as we speak. There's been protests last week, millions, millions throughout Spain protesting and in Portugal, not making the news at all. You have youth unemployment around the world, India crisis, China, 25% of the college grads can't find jobs other than working in a slave factory. So what we'll do, what we're seeing here is a buildup of pressure. What will be the false flag that ignites it? Oh, by the way, they had a run on a Chinese bank the other day. Wow. Barely made the news. And, and of course, they quieted it right down. So China's biggest fear, by the way, is its people. They got 1.2 billion of them. And to get them out of control, you're, you know, you're in a lot of trouble. That's right. And then we're watching at in Japan, which you mentioned about the gold rush going on because sales tax are going up. And you have this Abe over there that keeps banging the war drum against China mm -hmm. on the disputes in the South China Sea. So these are the things to really be keyed into. And I want to mention this. We're coming out with the New Trends Journal in, in mid-April. And one of the focuses that we're working on is we're starting an Occupy Peace movement. It's going to be OccupyPeace.us. It's only for Americans. That's Every great. country should have their own. And it's based on three simple words. No foreign entanglements. Yes, yes. Boy, I second that. That's Gerald Salenti, TrendsResearch.com, and that magazine is Trends Journal. Join us tonight for the Nightly News. Thank you, Gerald. Thank you, David. You are listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow.